Welcome back. Hello. We're doing the thing. Yes. Doing a Higurashi. It's the next episode where we're doing more stuff with Rena and everything will be fun and nothing will go wrong and force us to relive this period what, of time. What video do you reckon stuff. we've opened with the most truisms? I don't know. This one. Maybe. It might be this one. That's, that's, that's what I was thinking about is would this be the most? Because that was a lot of truisms, right? It was there. a lot of truisms. That's what happens when you put me in charge. I'm the truism guy. It's like my whole thing. I agree. Dude. Thank you. And that was a truism as well. Excellent. We like the truism. Tr- tr- Let's couple. only say things that are obviously true this whole episode. I, that is not going to happen. Uh, that means we can't read the script. <laughs> This video is going to be over very quickly. What do you mean? <laughs> Rena doesn't tell lies. It's her like character thing. She hates liars. That's right. She does she hate just, liars. She just omits details. <laughs> yes, she does omit details. She does omit details. Omit. O- omit. Which is different from the word admit. Yes. She doesn't admit Both in shit. spelling and meaning. We have this established as only kind because she, and she doesn't. Rhyme. She doesn't admit things. Unless she's trying to save a life or kill someone or whatever's stepping up. They rhyme at the end, though. They do not rhyme on the inside. They don't rhyme on the inside. Glide. Don't don't glide. Don't glide on the... It had been very hard for the past few days, and the corpses were rotting quickly. Corpses <laughs> do rot quickly. They do! On hot days. Especially when there's hot days. In a housewife, like me, knows how fast fresh meat can go bad. That is a sweeping assessment. It's literally the worst. <laughs> I know it too. That's why the first thing I did was to dismember the corpses. Well, she had to kill the corpses Are first. Are you going to do that after every single click? Because, <laughs> like, every page I can handle. But every click! You know I'm going? I'm going to do a murder in a minute. Where's my hatchet? Bring me my hatchet! There's a, there's a sword in Sparky. the corner. There's a sword in the corner. All right. Is it sharp? I, you could gouge an eye out with it. Okay, that's the plan then. You'll die from blood loss. Don't worry. I'll make it. I'll make it as quick as I can with a bloody sword. Did I? Have I told you that I actually have a um, not like a real? You're going to do this after no, no, no. every yes. tangent, Ben. Yes. You're going to do this after every yes. tangent. Yes, I have a. a wooden... After every second tangent, I could handle. <laughs> but every tangent. That just sounds arbitrary. <laughs> it sounds like you're making details up to be arbitrary and <laughs> facetious. So no, that's a truism. You are being facetious. Um, I have a wooden training sword at home that's uh-huh. from like the Britain places and the Britain like places. a sword that like the, some knights or some shit used to train with and it's at my parents' place and it's really cool. Nice. Is yeah. it like intricate or is it just wood? Oh god no, it's just wood, a little bit of like straw or some shit as the as the, uh, the guard, but there's all fancy, but it's fun. See my blade over in the corner there has a has a Pretty grip. Well yeah. Has a grip that uh Basically, I, I went through like hundreds and hundreds of grips that I was like, this does not fit my hand. Mm. But this one grip, which is so incredibly like square and chunky that everyone else is like, ah, oh, so uncomfortable, was the only one I can use well, comfortably. Yeah. It's so weird. That's just that's just your life. Finding the one thing that you're like, this is perfect. Exactly. This fits me. Absolutely. Like Higurashi. Mm-hmm. There was only one reason why I need to dismember them. I had to reduce them to a portable size in order to carry them to a place where they'll never be found. This is now this is tactics. Uh. When men see the words dismembered corpses, they'll probably feel disgusted because they don't cook. Well, this is just being sexist around. What is this? I That's, thought you were pure. That is an <laughs> excellent line. It is top I know. notch. I know, it's very good. Never mind that it's a disgusted corpse. It's just that men don't <laughs> Cook. It needs a woman's touch. Oh. This is literally that trope. It's fantastic. That is hilarious. Yeah, they'll probably feel disgusted because they don't cook, but housewives are used to taking the guts out of fish, and they sometimes even see living maggots. They take the maggots off the food or even cook it with a maggot still on. The heat will kill them after all. Women don't tell men what they do in the kitchen because men wouldn't eat the food if they knew. Can we, uh, can we, can we get a, get a card no. on the top right linking to no. that Jamie Oliver clip of him being what? disappointed? Have I not told Which one? You? There's so many of those. It's my favorite cooking show clip of all time, and I'm sorry to Iron Chef because it's a great show. My favorite show, cl- like, clip of all time is mm-hmm. Jamie Oliver presenting to a bunch of American children okay. how a chicken oh patty God. is made. 
And he's like, look at how brutal this is. And you put this in and you grind it all up and it's disgusting and gross. And that's the finished patty. Who would still eat that? And they all do. Every single one raises I'm, their hands. I'm pretty sure they, were, they did one of those with chicken nuggets, didn't they? It was might that, be the same thing. It might be. We might be thinking of the but same video, actually, because I have seen a video like that. Just the look of disappointment yeah. on his face yeah. when Every single one yeah. of them puts up their-, their They're like, we'll eat the chicken nuggets, it'll be great. It's this, awful. This cannot be the first time I brought this up on the show. I mean, it's it, one of my favorite clips of all I time. I think it's the first time on this show, but I, I, I know the vibe. <laughs> I know the vibe, my dude. There's a link up in the top right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it didn't really bother me much to dismember them. I was released from all my problems by killing them. Cleaning up the mess was like nothing to me because I got freedom and regained my happiness. I just met with the corpses using carpenter's tools like a saw and a hatchet. I'm wearing a black sweatsuit I bought for today because I thought I might get stained with blood. But stains don't show on black fabric and I could just throw it away after it's done. I brought a plastic sheet I found in the dump because mm, I thought the blood might spread otherwise. If I did the work on this sheet, I could just burn it after I was done. In the end, dismembered human bodies is no different from preparing food on a chopping board. Except that preparing food on a chopping board is Tropping. not a crime. Sure. I mean, they're corpses. Is this memory of corpse really a crime once it's a corpse? Like, come on, guys. I, ah, I see. You're implying that the law does not make the action different. That's the one. Ah, I I'm see. just saying, once it's dead, it's a corpse. Now, killing a person, that's a crime, but like a sexy crime. So it's all good. But like chopping up a corpse ain't no different from chopping up anything else, like a tree. You know, like that's a corpse. Like a tree was Was alive. it a sexy crime? <sighs> no, there was no spy music. There was no You're right. tight she needed like angles. She needed like a little silence pistol. No skin tight leather suit on Tepe. You're right. You're right. She, that's what we needed. We needed Tepe to be... Tied to a chair and just in latex, and that'd be perfect. That'd be that'd be what we need. Think of a very specific episode of Archer. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking go about. Go watch Archer. It's no. a good show. It's a good show. No, I'm not going. It's good to. fun though. Freddy Lion. I I will, but only because I want to. Thank you. Thank you. I was very tired from chopping apart two adult buddies, but I didn't have a problem doing it. I cut off their arms, legs, and heads to find each body in a six pieces. I heard from I heard before the blades get easily ruined by fat when you cut apart a corpse, so I brought many kinds of tools. And I was right, I didn't have to go back and forth between here and my house to get another tool in the middle of work. A long time ago, the construction manager was murdered and his body was dismembered here during the damn conflict. He was cut into six pieces in the same way. Well, I had two bodies, so there was double that though. I remember the main suspect was still on the loose and the victim's arm he hid hadn't been found yet. I wonder where he hid it. I'd like to ask him. <laughs> I smiled wryly. Unlike the arms, legs, and heads, the tall souls were difficult to take care of. I thought about cutting them into smaller pieces, but I decided against it because I thought it'd be troublesome to clean up the guts. I put each piece in a black trash bag and sprayed on a lot of deodorant. I wasn't sure if that would help against the smell, though. Many bugs flew around me while I was dismembering the corpses, and after I finished putting all the pieces in each bag, the bugs were still flying around, but that was just because they could smell the blood. After I cleaned up everything, they were all gone. Now, all I need to do is to get rid of these 12 black bags. Burning them would be easiest, but I don't think I can burn the ashes without using a cremator. The best way is to bury them somewhere. Other than the torso, every piece is small enough to fit my backpack. I could easily carry them without being noticed. I could throw them into the river, run it through the damn construction site. But if I did that, someone would find them for sure. I've seen on the news several times before that a bag with a body part in it was found beside a river. Every time I heard something like that, I always thought the murder was stupid. I thought about dumping them into the Onigafuji swamp, but rotten meat floats. I thought about waiting the bags, but there's no guarantee they'd stay down. A shout out to Rika's mother. <gasps> so, that left me one choice. To bury them. There are many unexplored mountains at the end of the abandoned districts around Yaguchi and Tekatsudo. It's probably best to bury them somewhere in the mountains. While it would be safe to bury them here in the garbage dump too, it's not perfectly safe. And so I'm going to bear all these bags somewhere deep inside of a mountain. 
It's going to tunnel in. I'm going to get my big ass tree. I'm going to tunnel right in the center of that mountain. I'm going to seal it up afterwards in order to completely erase the two of them. This is why she should just get with Kasai. Why? Because then Kasai could just dump him in the goddamn pit in the torture chamber. Why? What? I mean, that would be pretty convenient. That would be pretty convenient. Yeah, it would. My joints hurt since I've been using muscles I don't normally use. My killing muscles. I cleaned out the mask very carefully and got into my heart out. I'm still wearing the sweatsuit. I laid down on the mattress. See, I think of uh, I think of Renner and Kasai like. Uh, God damn you! Like, you're still doing this. Why would you do this? Like, what is with your shit? I, I've been I've been watching I, I watched Fate a, a while. Why later. have you been watching Fate? Because it sucks. <laughs> and <laughs> Ili, it, you know, Kasai and uh, uh, Kasai and Renner is like Heracles and Ilias fell. That doesn't make any sense. Because Heracles is Heracles is like the bodyguard of, of Ilya, which is not an appropriate comparison to to Renner and Kasai. That's more like Shion and Kasai, and but that's also that's, inappropriate. I'm saying that's what their relationship should be. It should be bodyguard and bodyguard you're saying and that Kasai should be Renner's bodyguard instead of Shion's. Yes. Are you telling me that you trust Shion without a bodyguard running around the town? Yes. That's why she has a stun gun. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Kasai, mm, he been a better boy. Do you have a better example? A better, a better, a better media comparison? I, I mean, look, it, what you're describing is more like Heracles and like Rin or Saber, like I one of the like other heroes. You're, you're putting some inherent bias here by what? saying that Renner is like an ancient hero. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't she? Come on now. I mean, uh, like, I, I mean, so is well, Ilya isn't isn't a hero. She's just like. She's not actually that powerful, but she's really, like, cruel and awful. And she's also, like, weirdly sexualized. You know what? Actually, that's not, like, too dissimilar from what Dean did. And he, really the real villain is Dean here, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dean. <laughs> Fucking Dean. I can't believe you, Dean. Why would you do this, oh, Dean? God damn it. Our friend Dean. Our friend Dean. Fucking Dean. It's just one guy. His name's can we, Dean. Can somebody, like... Just because of how much we hate Fate and Higurashi and Umineko, obviously. They're the worst series. They're the worst stories. I don't know why anyone would watch or read them, but apparently they had some pretty bad anime annotations by this fucking Dean guy. Somebody made me art of our friend Dean so that we can just put him in a trash just, can. Just Dean himself? Just Dean. Yeah. I don't know what Dean looks like. I'm going to leave that up to your <laughs> imagination, but I want that on my desk. I want to see that. I want it on my desk by Monday. I want it on my desk. I want pictures of Spider-Man. I want pictures of Dean. I want pictures of Dean. <laughs> on my desk. Okay. Fucking Dean, Peter Parker. Bring Dean, me pictures of Dean. Dean is just J.K. Simmons. <laughs> oh my God. That's it. That's it. It's done. Oh God. Oh dear. We are awful. We are. And fate is not terrible it's just bad it's just very bad go read the novel i read like the first three hours or four hours of that novel and it was all right so you know i didn't know that there was a remake after the dean version of, you mean the ufertable version yeah i didn't know that Blade existed Works. so i watched the dean version and i hate it yeah i watched it too and hate <laughs> it because this <sighs> don't worry this is not a this is not a fate show we can talk just, about it later when we never go, read fate just go watch We're all the ufertable stuff well, i mean i no, that would never no, i agree with you that would actually kill us Anyway, I washed my hands of this topic carefully, but there was still Dean and blood on my nails. It's not Dean. Oh, no. It's Dean's blood. I should take a shower later and wash it off completely. It's filthy. When I say things like disposing of corpses, it sounds like I'm the greatest evil of the century. But that's only true if I get caught. What I did isn't a crime as long as I don't get caught. I, I didn't do this because I wanted to commit a crime. There's a real ring of Gaiji's moment here. I didn't do anything wrong. I did this to protect my father's life and mine. People might speak ill of me, but I don't care about them. In the end, I don't think anybody can really pass judgment on my sins. I'm sorry, I am. Wow, you're a dick! Sins aren't something to pass judgment on. They're something to confess and to atone for. In other words, nobody can measure the weight of a sin other than the, other than the person who committed the crime. Sounds like a terrible system for a basis of law. I suppose so. <laughs> Do I regret what I did? Do I feel sorry? Yes. No. Shit. I don't think I did anything wrong. People told me I could predict things. <laughs> I truly believe there was no better way than killing them. I'm sure it was the right thing because my... 
Life had already started to change since the night I killed them. A few days earlier, I just came home after killing Tepe. My father was cleaning the room Tepe had thrashed earlier. His eyes were swollen. He'd been crying. Rena, where have you been? I was talking with him. I said, Rena, Sam will never come to our house again, so please leave us alone. Therefore, he'll never come back. I don't think you'll stay away from us that easily. You should watch out for him for a while, too. It's hard to explain to him why Tepe would never come back. I can't tell him he shouldn't worry because I killed him. I grabbed ice cubes from the freezer, put them in a plastic bag, and handed it to my father. Here you go, Dad. Your cheeks are swollen. He must have only noticed it just then. Oh, th thank you. Don't worry about clean up the mess. I'll do it. I'll get the vacuum cleaner. Raina. He called out to me. I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. They make their living by deceiving people. You were just one of their targets. Raina, did you know who they were? Yes. I found out recently. I didn't tell you because I thought you wouldn't. Believe me, I I'm sorry. He looked down. When he told me about how he wanted to get remarried, I told him that they were bad people and they scammed others of the badger games, but he didn't listen to me, so I was right in saying that he wouldn't have believed me at all. She took advantage of your pain. I'm a very bad father. Then he started talking about how he met Rena as if trying to absolve his guilt. It was when he was surfing the most and he needed to drink away his sorrow. At a bar he happened to go into, Rena Sam was the one who came to his table. It was her job to be a good listener when her customers talked. Rena must have really have been a great listener and offered words of comfort when he talked about the divorce. If he was emotionally stable, he could have taken it as a kindness that she was on the offer at the time. But he was so desperate that he took it the wrong way. After that, the tragedy was inevitable. He wanted to believe that it was destiny and he glamorized everything about her. It would be easy to laugh at him and say that he was just dreaming, but I don't blame him, because being weak is also part of being human. He had plenty of opportunities to go suspicious of her questionable spending habits, but my father just read even that behavior as an attempt to cheer him up. He bought everything she asked him to, and Rena had landed her catch. He shouldn't have brought his love to the house where his daughter lived. But he was crazy about her, and he didn't even think about it. I'd forgotten that I was a father first. What was I thinking? He started crying. I held his shoulders gently. It's okay. He realized that in the end, you're my father, no matter what. You're the only family I have. He couldn't stop moaning. We held each other and we cried together. The next day, my father got up early in the morning. He was already cooking breakfast when I got up and he told me, y Your father's gonna get his act together from today on. Uh, <laughs> Dad, Daddy, you shouldn't have. You should have used salad oil before you cooked them sunny side up. <laughs> it's been a long time since I cooked. <laughs> he pried off the burning eggs on the pan with a spatula and he added some salad oil to it. It was too late. <laughs> Doing that just made an even bigger mess. But I didn't say anything because I wanted to eat his eggs. I waited at the table quietly. He put the burned eggs on a plate and brought them over to me. It looked like he tried to salvage them by adding cheese, but it didn't really work. Still smelled good and crispy. It actually stimulated my appetite. Thick cut toast popped out of the toaster. I made coffee with extra milk and sugar because my father liked it sweet. We put everything on the table. It looked terrible, like the cooking class of elementary school, but to me it was... It was precious because my father tried very hard to make it 
wearing the apron and everything. Great. It, it smells good. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. <laughs> it might be better than you do the cooking. I feel bad making you eat this. I'll take care of cooking when you take care of getting a job. Oh! Got him. <laughs> It'd have been a taboo to talk about work in our house. He hadn't worked since the divorce. It wasn't only because of the divorce, though. It, he just didn't have to work because the settlement my mother gave him was so huge. Plus, I let him be lazy because I felt guilty about the divorce. But my father cleared his wrongdoing by showing repentance to me. And I also atoned for my sin of not doing anything about my mother by doing what I did the previous night. Now, we are free of sin. I don't think that's how that works. I think it is. That makes sense to me. She killed some people, but it was all in the name of happiness and freeing herself from the guilt of not doing anything that she's one treating, time. She's treating two sins as a multiplied negative. That makes sense to me. I feel like this is saying that goes with that. I love that you danced around it so deftly. What? <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> I well, assume that was what you were doing. Oh well, yeah, it was so funny <laughs> if you say it that way. Uh, fair enough. No, I love it. Oh, dear. I, I'm going to try to find a job. I'm thinking about going to the employment service agency today. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. It's not money that he wanted. He just needed a normal lifestyle. I'm old and not very strong. I'm a bit worried if I can't find a job at all. What kind of job are you looking for? I prefer a desk job, but I don't think a lot of companies would offer one to an old man like me. I can ask my friend. Mi Chen is the daughter of a big landowner slash, slash Yakuza boss in Hinamazawa, so she might be able to find you something. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll, I'll do it myself. Yeah. I have to man up, you know? Sweet baby runner father. <laughs> I don't remember the last time we enjoyed breakfast like this. I don't even remember the last time we had breakfast together. But the first time in a, in a long time... The morning light felt refreshing. I wanted to keep enjoying life like this, but unfortunately I had to go to school. I told him that I'd skip school that day and that I wanted him to take me somewhere fun, but he tried to be a good father and said that I had to go to school. Well, I, I have to go now. Uh, okay, have a good day at school. I was not the right voice, but we're That's sticking okay. with it anyway. That's okay. I'm the one feeling the, the feels here. This is the shakiest voice I've done on any uh, iteration of the playthrough. That's all right. We have time to, to, to warm back into the role as he leaves the scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he followed me to the front door. I was a bit embarrassed for some reason. He talked to me while I was tying my shoes. He followed me here not because he wanted to see me off, but because he wanted to tell me something. I've been... Sad ever since your mother divorced me. But I realized I shouldn't be sad because I have you, Raina. I didn't have to feel sad at all. Dad, that's what being a family is about. Yeah, you're right. Again, I'm not a good father because I had to learn something that simple and important from my own daughter. Well, uh, I have to go now. Kate Shikuna's waiting for me. I don't believe that for a second. Kate Shikuna's waiting for me. That's what she says. That's what she means. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, Raina, I'm going to cook dinner tonight. I'll do the grocery shopping on the way back from the employment service agency. Look, look forward to it. I promise I won't fail like I did just now. <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you tonight. I left the house. My father saw me off, still in the apron. It was the first step of our new life. I finally regained it. I finally regained everything we lost. After we left in Amzawa, my mother wasn't around, but I didn't feel sad because I had my father. The cries of the cicadas sounded as if they were celebrating my new life. The sunshine was bright and the wind was setting up a nice breeze. The only thing that was nice was the ticking clock. Oh, I was late because I spent too much time talking to my father. Keichi could not be gone. I, I don't think he'd be waiting for me that long. But he was there anyway, the fucking lovable goof. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Sorry I'm late. Ah, it's okay. I usually make you wait, so it's okay that I wait once in a while. <laughs> 
we're really going to be late, so we should walk fast. I, I think, I think. Uh, yeah, let's walk fast. We might have to run at the end. Me, Chan, might already be gone. <laughs> She's waiting for sure. We're friends. We'd never leave each other behind, right? Hmm. Anyway, did something good happen this morning? What? Why do you ask that? Ah, well, you yeah, look very happy for some reason. I just thought maybe something good happened to you. The good mood I was in must have been too obvious for Kate to ignore. I had not only my family, but my friends too. I felt something warm spread in my heart. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happened this morning. My father made breakfast, but... <laughs> what? Isn't that the right way to cook eggs? You use salad oil for making salads, don't you? What? <laughs> I have to tell everyone you just said that. Or maybe Keichi just uses no non-stick pans and puts the bacon in first. So maybe he does. Functions maybe as, functions as your oil. Do you think that he's that good of a cook? No, I think, he's, three? Uh, I think he's that lazy <laughs> that he's done it accidentally every time and never figured it out. You know what? That makes sense to me. He got it from his father, clearly. Mm -hmm. It's the school. It's school day! <gasps> what did you say? There's Runa Moxa unforgivable! Ah, fine, bring it. If you're saying that, then you're willing and ready to throw down, aren't you? Hey, hey, what's going on? Inside of Koke Chan, why don't you two place an outside bet on our club activities today? It'll be fun. Me, Chan, what's an outside bet? What is it? Ah, an outside bet means what it says that Sadako and I would place a bet on each other outside the game. The one who played worse than the other has to suffer an extra punishment besides the normal one. That means I get to see one of you suffer no matter who loses today. <laughs> so what do you say, Zadiko? That sounds like a wonderful idea to me. Kiji san will take a punishment for being the lowest ranked in the game, and another for losing to me. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Damn it, Zadiko. Great, I like your spirit, Zadiko. <laughs> All right, let's play today's game with their outside bet. <laughs> It's more fun to think about punishments than to think about the game itself. Ah, uh, sure is. I can't wait to see how miserable Sadako's gonna look after she takes her punishment. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Kishi-san! Ouch. Take that. <laughs> Stop it. God damn you! Yeah! Yeah! Thank you! Stop fighting, you two. The game hasn't even started yet. <gasps> Chase-sensei opened the door and came on in. Take your seats, everyone. Let's start homeroom, and then you can all go home. Everybody head to their seats. Hey, Chan. <gasps> what? Oh, I I'm sorry to ruin the move, but I, I have to go home after school. I have things to do again today. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, I'm sorry that you have to go. Are you busy with housework or something? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Housework! Well, this old man has no right to stop you when it comes to housework. Wink! Can't she knows wait. what's up, she Can't knows what's up. Can't wait for Mion to just send around some people to help run her out. Housework, yeah. Yeah. That's the one. I don't do housework myself, our housekeepers do. You should help them sometimes. It'll be good training for merit life. Oh, don't worry about that. I already have the kind of skill you know to be a good wife. <laughs> I have all these toughs to do the work for me. <laughs> and murder people! Me Chan looks like the kind of girl who tries to stay away from chores as much as possible, but she can actually do everything. That's just who she is. She went through some hard times to learn those things, but she acts like she learned it without any struggle. That's also who she is. I like that about her. What? Are you going home right now? <laughs> then you won't see Keiichi san go to the teacher's office wearing an embarrassing uniform. What a shame. It's going to be fun. Pity you have to miss it. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, you went home right after school for housework yesterday, too. Uh, did something happen? Yeah, kind of. It, it might take me a few more days. Just this big awful mess I gotta clean up. Well, then I guess you can join us for a while. Maybe. I I'll try to finish as soon as I can. Uh, can we help out with the thing you have to do? If it's something like carrying out old furniture, let me know. I can help with that. Oh, you're redecorating your house. This old man can bring lots of help for that. <laughs> I have an idea. We can make a game out of helping you out with the housework. This is a terrible idea, but no, I love it. No, this is, it. I love it. This is a great plan. This is brilliant. 
At this rate, the person who doesn't end up helping her will be the winner. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate it. Well, it seems there's nothing we can do. Therefore, I announce Renna Ryuka's withdrawal from the front line test of today. I order you to take a rest until you finish doing your housework and to return to the front as soon as you've regained your strength. Yes, Commander? Question mark? There are many games for four. Oh, can you play Mahjong K-Chan? God, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. My dad sometimes forces me to play Mahjong with him and his friends from work. It's cost me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We are good at Mahjong as well. After that, they fooled around and made a lot of noise, just like they always did. I looked at them and reminded myself that I'd always have a place to return to. I left that classroom with a smile. How soon are we going to run into Oishi, you reckon? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Well, to be fair, he normally doesn't show up until around the festival. So, you know, maybe we got some time. Maybe we do. Yeah, maybe we won't even see Oishi until the festival. That'd be crazy. I'm really hoping he's just outside our house, like, straight away. Just <laughs> immediately. I just the sound the smell of rotten corpses that my nose detects. Nah, That'd he's there for the eggs. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> is that the smell of burnt eggs? Only a mother could cook such terrible eggs. But it was her dad. Unless you're saying her dad's a murderer yeah. as and well. then he's like, oh, your dad's the murderer. Who and did, then, uh, she has to protect him. Who did her dad kill? That's a great question. That's a great question. What if it's Oishi? What if we get to her house <gasps> no! and Oishi's head's in a jar, no! sustained by some cybernetic implant Ren at the bottom dad. of the jar? What? When his dad is also a cyber man? I mean, he has a big budget. <laughs> We've covered that so far. I suppose so. And if he needs to get a job, it means he's probably spent more of the money oh, than damn. we were initially told, which means he's probably spent more on, on cybernetics. Makes sense to me. He has one of those, like, you know, in The Walking Dead, he has, like, the, the wall of, like, jars of heads, and there's the zombie heads in the jars. Yes. It's like that, but with Oishi heads. Sounds accurate. <laughs> and they're just Oishi heads. Yes. Only Oishi heads. As we've established, there are many Oishi heads in this story. That's actually like, if we go back to Arc 4, that's actually uh -huh. just what the Oishi HQ was. There's no one in the room. It's just a bunch of Yeah, heads. it's just a row of heads. They're all looking at Akasaka. <laughs> and they all have like little <laughs> silver plates at their side and there's like a tie like fastened to the plate and hanging down <laughs> over the table. Yes. Obviously, I thought that was just common sense. I, I I suppose it was. It just took me a while to, you know, quite comprehend the grandeur. Dude, this is why you're the person who's solving the story. Exactly. You're figuring it out bit by bit. <laughs> Shout out to episode eight, or arc eight rather, where we get the, the big reveal. The big reveal of what yeah, we've just of described. Oishi, yes. The Council of Oishi in the police station. I guess I do know Oyashiro Sama. Oh my god! <laughs> Oyashiro Sama, Oishi, both start with O, similar syllables, just saying. Yeah, and then yeah. somehow Rika is the reincarnation of that. That makes sense to me. I mean, she, we know she's good at pouring soy sauce, mm. and as we all uh -huh. know, so, soy sauce goes in jar. I was gonna say, jars. is it like Futurama where they have to like pour the stuff into a little head jar and it like lap it up like fish? Dude. I'm just going to say great. yes and yes. then Google that because Go I have no watch. idea what you're on it's about. Amazing. It's in like the first episode of Futurama. It's fantastic. They're like, oh, yes, we get to live out our lives in dignity. And their little heads in jars. And then they feed them like fish with little flakes. It's great. Except it's soy sauce. Perfect. There you go. That's just a good story. Excellent. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to Yaguchi on my bicycle. I had to find a place to bury the bags of the body parts. Hopefully I could finish burying all of them today before it gets dark. With that, everything will be over and done with. What? What? Who's talking? Oh my is god. It, that's Casey. I don't like that the backs of the tiles are made of bamboo. <sighs> you guys haven't marked them, have you? They have. They always have. I wouldn't be too sure. Can't you sound, you sound traumatized by the experience you had with our card game? Uh, well, I think there are some scratches on them. They're cheap ones, you know. Uh, but it's more fun when there's an element of doubt, don't you think? <laughs> Savage. Me? How many reds do you want to use? Six? Rika-chan sounded professional and it scared me. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I should start by checking the tiles. Playing Mahjong with the family is different from playing it as a club activity. I have to be cautious. It's possible that one tile is missing or that there's an extra particular tile in here. Oof. We don't do things like that. See, he dip, he's talking on his face again. <laughs> We're back to normal. It's Yay! been so long. It's like going to all over oh. again. I love it. 
When did that even stop? It just kind of disappeared. It. I don't know. I, oh, that's right. It didn't we happen at all it, in Arc 5. That's what I was disappointed yeah, about. Yeah, we, we mentioned a couple times in Meikashi, but yeah, it, we didn't really have that since Arc 3, I guess. It's so sad. Uh, that said, the, the real star of Arc 2 was Keiji's face. I agree. With, with all those lovely phone calls. <laughs> we don't do things like that still. That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that now. Exactly. Let's put them all face up on the table and check them before we start the game. Come on. <laughs> Everybody flip the tiles face up. <laughs> one dragon is missing. What? One low pun and one whatever that. Ha low, low pin and low so? Low pin and low so? <laughs> yes. I just. I'm missing too? I. I <laughs> Sadiko, are you okay? I, Me. I just. Sadiko. Sadiko, you've forgotten how to talk. Are you okay? I, I, I just, I, I can't speak Japanese. I've been using Google Translate on my phone and oh, I've lost God. connection to the internet. Oh no. Sadako, we need to, we need to take you, we need to take you away and re-educate you. That's what we need to do. No, don't take me away where's, from here. Where's Shion when we need her? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Bad. Better left unsaid. Let's one, keep going. One, uh, ah, what is uh, missing? Uh, also, uh, what's going on? There's so many missing tiles. <laughs> Uh, uh, I remember. Hold on a second. Shakes out sleeve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, <laughs> Wait, me what? the palm of her hand with her fist, moved a chair aside, and stuck her finger into a gap in the floorboards. Okay. She then pulled a tile out of there. Did they just all fall on the floor? There you go. This is the dragon. <laughs> what are the other gods? I don't remember where I put <laughs> the other three. I was, I was jerking, but I guess she was just stashing uh. them. What do you mean? Why are there so many tiles hidden in the classroom? Uh. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> God damn it. She must have hidden the other three tiles somewhere in the classroom and forgotten where. <laughs> I've never heard Rikushi repeat himself. A rune so cunning. We well, can play even. Mahjong with three tiles missing. I suggested playing another game, but Mian insisted that we had to find them and suggested making that treasure hunt our game. Sounds good. And you know where we go for treasure hunts. Oh my God, you're right. I'm so excited. As long as I can make Keiji sound suffer punishment, I care little as to what kind of game we play, but to be honest with you, I'd prefer to play something more interesting than that. I agree. Plus, you're not sure they're in here in the classroom, right, Mian? Uh, no, they're here. Probably. Or maybe this old man might have put them in his pockets and left them by the washing machine. I don't remember. <laughs> so unreliable, Mian! Come on! At least Shion was reliable. It's true. We could rely on her to murder people. Exactly. Every single person mm -hmm. in the story of relevance except for Renna. So that's why she isn't worse girl. Always makes the wrong choice. That's God reliable. damn you. I recommend checking the total number of tiles after we play Mahjong with me next time. Everybody except me are not at an agreement. Me. What? You don't want to play our classroom tile hunting game? <laughs> in other words, cleaning up the mess me made so she could cheat. Do it yourself. Don't use our club activities for personal reasons. Uh, fine, fine. So what do you want to do? Uh, Ugh, we can't play Mahjong now, so what are we playing then? Does anybody have any ideas? As our club president, Mian usually decides what we'll play. I can just come up with something on this spot. While we were all thinking, Mian hit her palm with her fist just like she did earlier. <gasps> oh, I got an idea. If you don't want to hunt for tiles, let's do a real treasure hunt. What name comes to mind when I say treasure hunt? Renna, right? Yeah? You mean we're going to the garbage dump at the damn construction site? Awesome! I didn't really go there often, but the place is large. Plenty of tiles in there. I've heard that the place is haunted by the ghost of the man who was murdered there. His body was cut into pieces we shouldn't go near. Yes, shout Says out to Rika, who definitely does not know what's happened. No comment. I don't have any okay, comment. Okay, yeah, I was I have zero, for you to I don't comment. Know, what do you want me to say to that? Oh, I don't know. Just like... You're wrong! Thank you. She doesn't know what's going on. Thank you. Rika is a small that's child. That's your job here. It's she, to it's misdirect true. me. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Explicitly. Explicitly yeah. I misdirect to say, me. You are wrong. Everything you're saying is wrong and lies. And Shion is the real culprit of exactly. everything. Makes sense to me. I'm glad we came to this consensus. I'm glad too. It, I only, thought... it only took us six arcs. <laughs> And eight episodes of Uman Echo, so basically like three years of our lives. It's, it's literally just been two years. <laughs> it's just By the time this comes out, it might have been three years. Who uh. knows? <laughs> Ghost, I like it. That's even better. I didn't know there was a rumor like that. I didn't know that someone was murdered there and that the main suspect is still on the loose. 
Rena hid the arm of the victim. Sorry, he hid the arm of the victim and it hasn't been found Some yet, Some right? random person. There's a rumor that the construction site manager, the victim of the dismemberment murder case, became a ghost and that he's wandering around the place to find his missing arm. This joke better pay off. Me. Rika, you don't like ghosts. Don't no. tell me you're still scared of ghosts. I am a shrine maiden. I can see them even if I don't want to. Wow, you can see ghosts if I remember right. I've heard those who can see spirits see them as naturally as they do us. <laughs> That's utterly ridiculous. I've been living with Rika for a long time, but I've never seen anything like that. That's just because you can't see them, but I can. For example, when you're asleep in your bed, I always see... Nipa Star. God, she's such a prankster, that Rika. Editor Felix, you know what to do with the music. <laughs> uh, Rika, why did you smile like that? What were you about to say? What do you see when I'm sleeping? Uh, Sadako, I feel sorry for you. You can pretend you're not scared of ghosts during the day, but I'm pretty sure you get scared when it gets dark. I'm going to make a silent phone call tonight just to scare the hell out of her. <laughs> Uh, including myself, I don't think anybody really likes going there. Uh, Rena's the only one who does. Wow. Trying to find a ghost when she's in her cute mode, she might take it home with her. Uh, that's so true. Hashtag relatable, she'd mm. say, uh, I'm taking you home with me. <laughs> what was that sound? What was that abomination? That was me impersonating oh. you in my Sadako voice. This is why I would never let you voice Rena in a thousand years. It just couldn't happen. I mean, if I, was, if I was voicing her. Renner, I'd do it sensibly. No, you wouldn't. Because I'm making fun of you. You don't have a sensible how. What do you mean? How? I have a how, how so how? sensible that it was complimented in the comments. I don't believe you. I remember that. This is rubbish. This is discrimination. Discrimination against serious voice actors. It's true. <laughs> I do live for the goof. <laughs> it was so easy to imagine that all of us laughed. Like that. Oh, let's do it. Let's go treasure hunting. This is not the music that should be playing in this classroom. Yeah. The sound effects. It's is spooky all, ghost voice. It's all off. Next thing you're going to tell me Ren has killed someone. <laughs> We're going on ghost adventures. <laughs> if you find a ghost, you win. You get a point if you find the victim's missing right arm. And you also get a point if you find uh, anything that Renna would like. We can show what we found to Renna later and we'll let her decide who's oh the winner. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't wait to win the game in my case, san Take... Double the punishment. Lol. Hey, Sadako, are you sure you want to win? That means you're going to see a ghost. Ugh. I do love this use of this music. God. <laughs> Stop it. You're getting on my nerves. I don't want to go there. I'm scared of ghosts, too. Mm. What do you mean you're scared of ghosts, too? Who else are you referring to? <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Hey, can't you Stop doing that. Stop pretending to be a ghost! Let's go, everybody. Let's find the ghost. Hey, let's go find the ghost! <laughs> <laughs> so excited. And it'll be over with. Everything will be over and done with. Oh, damn. Yes. It will be over when the Higarashi cry. Why, why did we end on that? That was incredibly ominous that was and very weird. Ominous. I love it, Rikishi. Was that oh. still meant to be Keichi? That didn't feel like Keichi. You know what? I'm not sure at That this was point. way too poetic for Keichi. That's right. Well, anyway, uh, next time. Next time. <laughs>